So this morning I woke up around 4.30 a.m., wide awake, having a bad dream, couldn't go back to sleep, but saw some flashes of lightning outside my window and I thought, what a perfect time to do a time-lapse video with my GoPro Hero 8 camera. I took all my GoPro accessories, my GoPro Hero 8, my GoPro Max, my GoPro Hero 7, packed up my Nikon Z6 camera, grabbed the tripod, and headed up to the hill in my local town to get an overview of the storm coming in from the west. So I get to the park, take the GoPro out of the trunk, put it on a GoPro tripod, walk like you know, half a block up to the top of the hill to place the GoPro on the ground, get that all set up, put it in time-lapse mode. This is at about like 5 a.m. Uh, so it's dark out, so I figured, okay, this is going to be like a, a night lapse, actually, not time lapse. So we're putting it in night lapse mode uh, in a wide setting. So I get that all set up, run back to the car, or really walk back to the car, grab the Nikon Z6, and I thought, this is going to be great. I'm going to get some of the lightning photos across the city. Uh, so I figured I'd have plenty of time to do that. So I grab the camera, put it on its tripod, get to the top of the hill, put it in manual settings, snap two photos, which I'll show right here. And then just as soon as that second photo was taken, it started to sprinkle. So there went my plans. I wanted to get lightning with my Z6 camera. I wanted to do a time lapse of storm clouds coming. I thought I had more time, but by the time I packed everything up, drove up to the top of the hill, the storm was already there. So it started raining heavily, so I took the Nikon Z6, put it back into the car. So here I am sitting in the car now for several hours waiting for the time lapse to complete or the battery to run dry. I don't know how the time lapse is going to turn out. Uh, right now it is daytime. I've never done a night lapse on that camera on the GoPro Hero 8 where we're transitioned from night to day. Overall, it's probably not going to be as dramatic as I wanted. Time lapse videos can be mentally challenging sometimes. You have a concept of what you want to capture in the time lapse video, and then reality turns out to be something different. Uh, and then you're looking at the sky and wondering to yourself, should I stop this video now? Is this going to be any good? And I would encourage you not to stop, to just let it run its course. You really don't know how it's going to turn out. It almost seems like the time lapses can never be long enough. So make sure to let them run as long as possible, and then judge the outcome later. I've taken some time lapse videos from day to night where, at the point where I thought I had enough video, I stopped the recording. And then when I looked at the video, the best video that I captured was in those last two or three seconds before I turned the camera off. So you almost have to let it run for a longer period of time to see what the outcome of the video is, uh, and then later decide if it was any good or whether it's bad. This morning when the rain let up, I walked up to the top of the hill to the GoPro just to look at the clouds to see if anything interesting was going on, and it was pretty boring because it's a light rain, the clouds were pretty flat, there wasn't any sort of dramatic clouds. There was some low-lying clouds that I could see moving across the horizon, so I thought, you know what, let's not stop it, let's see how this turns out. The upcoming video is captured with a GoPro Hero 8 in night lapse mode in a wide setting and the video started at 5 a.m. We don't really know what time the video is going to stop. Uh, right now it's about 7 a.m. I expect that the battery is probably dead but you're, I just really don't know and I'm sitting here in the car waiting for the rain to stop to go out and retrieve the camera. I'll probably retrieve it shortly. If you like this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up. Check out my other videos and if you like the videos that I'm creating, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I appreciate your support. Have a great day.